Welcome to Two Bits in Two Minutes today. We're going to look at Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 18 and 19, a prophet of God who is running for his life after defeating the prophets of Baal, but yet the queen is trying to take his life now because she's upset with him. In 1 Kings chapter 18 and 19, Elijah is in a state of crisis and worry and maybe even anxiety or depression dealing with because uh, the queen seeks his life. And so God gives him a few truths, a few helps along the way in his journey. First of all, in chapter 19, verse 5 and 7, God through an angel is going to tell Elijah, arise and eat. He's going to tell him that twice. I believe what he's trying to take and to convey to him is to take nourishment for yourself, both physically, but also I think we can take nourishment spiritually as well. Let, let us eat good for our body's substance, for nourishment, so we can be about God's business, but also spiritually. Let us be taking nourishment, spiritual food from God's word each and every day. Then I want you to notice in verse 15, God also tells him, don't worry about what your life is going to be. I have plans for you. I have work for you to do. Uh, in verse 15, he tells him, I'm going to need you to anoint kings and prophets. Uh, your life's not going to end at this juncture. I'm going to take care of you. Maybe we can also put our hands to work. Maybe we can work both physically with our hands, whether that be exercising or doing some extra chores around the house or cleaning or starting that project that we need to. Or perhaps we can encourage one another spiritually and give a call to somebody. Maybe we can work on memorizing scripture or other spiritual activities that we can do to work with our hands. And then lastly, God reminds Elijah, you're not alone. There are other people I've reserved for faithfulness who are trying to serve me just as you are. And so what can we do in a time of worry or maybe anxiety? Well, as God tells Elijah, we can take nourishment, we can work with our hands, and know that we're not alone. May God bless you as you still continue to serve him each and every day. May you have blessings today.